I got bitten by a fish. It's insane. It's like someone's been murdered in here. Good morning guys and welcome to Tel Aviv. We are here, we landed really late last night. I'm so sorry for my very tired face. We didn't get to the hotel till about two-ish this morning. Um, it was just the security at the airport's really tight. They were really, really nice, but it just takes a long time and they ask you a lot of questions. So we got there quite late. It's about half past seven in the morning now. The weather's gorgeous. We're staying in a really cute hotel, but we're not staying here for long because we are going to um, a little place called Sfat. Um, so we're going to go there short. Well, we, we need to go and get a hire car and then we're going to go there shortly. So we're just having some breakfast. I'll show you, I'll put some clips of the hotel where we're staying. It's called the Vera Hotel. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you what I'm having for breakfast. So this is like a half eaten apple. But the breakfast here is really tasty. They've got, I'm going to do a clip of it in a sec, but they've got really nice fresh pastries. And then I've got like this bowl and it's got like chia seeds in it and then I've just put some fruit and some um, other seeds on top and I've got like a coffee um, and yeah it's really really good and like they've got a massive selection of things and everything's really healthy. So guys, I'm going to give you a very quick room tour um, um, in our hotel. It's really nice and modern, it's very small, um, but it was just for the one night. So this is our bed, which I have to say was really, really comfy um, last night. And then, like, I really like the lamps that they've got, which are really, really cute. It's like a nice picture on the wall. And then, little desk. Um, and then, um, yep, there's just our wardrobe, and this is, goes through to our bathroom. Let me show you. So it's just the toilet, messy towel rack, me, and then they've got shower with, as you could imagine, loads of skincare products. And they've also got a really nice shower, as you can see. And they've got these really nice um, products in as well, which I used last night. So it's just like a wet room. So we are headed to hopefully get a hire car. Oops, let me zoom you out a little bit. And um, guess what we have just discovered. just arrived in a small village I would say it is like a small town called Sfat and it's so high up on the hill it's very bright I'm not sure if you can see this it's so high up that like my ears like have popped a little bit like I'm on a plane but it's very historic um, you can't really see much because all you can see is cars but it's absolutely I don't know it's beautiful and the energy is really interesting um, it's, um, I don't know, it just, it feels like the energy feels very intense, um, without sounding, you know, a bit hokey pokey, but it really does. Hello. 
So this is a little tour of where we're staying. Um, so pretty. And then this is our room in here. So we've got like a little kitchen and then there's our bedroom, it's so cute. And then they've got another bedroom upstairs. It's a little bathroom and then, what's that? Oh, it's like a little window. And then it looks out onto that, it's so sweet. And there's this painting on the wall and then a mirror. <laughs> Um, dressed and heading out for the evening. I don't know if I mentioned before or not, but we are actually going to a friend's wedding. So I'm, as you can see, wearing a casual suit, like I've got no tie and um, sneakers on, just like white, white sneakers. And um, yeah, so we're doing that. And then um, tomorrow we're going to leave here and go back to Tel Aviv. So we are back in Tel Aviv. So we left um, Sfat where we were before this morning and then it was just like a couple of hours drive it's so amazing because like everything's like really close here like you can travel somewhere like completely different and um, yeah within like a couple of hours so yeah back in Tel Aviv it's like really um, like busy and bustly where we're staying this is quite like I think it's quite like a cool fun area to be but it is um, yeah it's quite bustly which is fun but it's also um, really close to the beach so that's good and um, so we're just going to, um, yeah, get checked into our room and just have a quick look around and probably get something for lunch. So I'm just going to do a quick room tour. <laughs> it's quite small. Um, and it's like, yeah, a little bit quirky. Got the luggage here. Hello. Um, yeah, storage. Um, we've got a red bathroom with a red shower. It looks like someone's been murdered in here. Um, and then we go out and then we've got like, so it's on quite like a busy and then like just down there is the beach. Mm. This is a spirulina ice lolly, which tastes a lot nicer than it sounds. Christian's having, what have you got? Uh, mango, pomegranate. Pom mango, pomegranate, and something else. But his is really tasty, but I thought I would get a healthy one, thinking that it wouldn't taste that great, but it actually does taste really nice. Now, we are headed to the, what are we headed to? The, a museum, like an art, an art museum, right? What's it called, though? I have no idea. Mm. No idea. So when we get there, I'll show you what it looks like.
Christian is eating the chocolate truffle cake. Oh, that's in there as well. Do you like it? Good, it's nice. It's rich. It's not as sweet as I thought. It looks quite dark, but sweet enough. So we are just have just left the art museum, which was incredible so i have ordered the brioche french toast which tastes amazing as it looks and then we've got lemonade like a nap like a homemade lemonade carrot juice coffees obviously and then christian has got vegan pancakes with fruit on how are your vegan pancakes to show very delicious If you can hear me in here, but I have got um, a salad with um, feta cheese on top, iced coffee. Christian's got a lemonade down there, but he also has a turmeric smoothie, which he loved, but it disappeared very quickly. And that is a um, salmon bagel with cream cheese. And I have to say, that's the most beautiful looking salmon I think I've ever seen in my life. So after our incredible lunch, we are taking a walk along the sea and it's in a beautiful view. This looks like a bit different to where we usually go swimming. Like there's the beach there behind me, but like where we usually go closer to our hotel, it's more sandy, whereas here's like a little bit more rocky and with seaweed and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's so nice. And we're on our way to, I think, a park. There's like a park nearby um, that's supposed to be nice. So we might take some pictures there if we can find it. And obviously if I do find it, then I will show you around. So cute. Park. The park's okay, but the view from the park is really nice. So Christian and I both got um, the same dish tonight. So this is a, an Israeli dish, and this is like some chicken with pine nuts um, and some herbs on a big focaccia. So it kind of looks like a pizza, but um, it's not. Hi you guys! <laughs> so we are off to pick up our car that has been sitting in the like car park for like, I don't know, two days? Three days maybe? So we're going to come and see what the hell that's going to cost us. Hopefully not too much. And then, more, excited, more exciting news. We are on our way to the Dead Sea. Um, yesterday, I just thought I'd let you know, I got bitten by a fish in the ocean, not once, sorry, you can't, it's gone all dark, not once, but twice. So the first time it happened, like, I, I just, I don't know if I, I thought I'd imagined it or something. Basically what happened was, I had a blister on my heel and, um, and it was exactly at that point where I think, and I was like, it's not like I got in the sea and like it was a bit sandy and it stung a little bit. I've been in the, the sea for a while and then something bit me and it really made me scream. Um, and then that was fine anyway and I carried on and then like about 15 minutes later it happened again in exactly the same spot. And this time like, I got out to have a look and it was bleeding. So we Googled it. And there's this fish called the tilapia. What, what was the other description of the fish other than tilapia? Something a white something. No, no just tilapia. Okay, so anyway, it was a tilapia. Now, I have eaten a couple of those fish in my lifetime, I'm not going to lie. So maybe it was revenge. But um, yeah, off the coast of like Israel and also in the 
Mediterranean there's like been reports of this little fish basically um, biting people and it will like if you've got like a little cut or something like that where the skin um, is slightly open then that's the spot that they go for and that's what happened to me yeah scary We have just arrived um, somewhere near the Dead Sea. It feels like I'm on the moon or something. It's so crazy. Like the drive down here for the last half an hour, like my ears were popping. It's like you're going lower because I think this is the reason why it's dead. Obviously, because of the salt, it's like the lowest part of the earth or something. So, this is definitely not the touristy part, that's for sure. Look, because literally, look here, you can see the, um, like the salt. God, that's insane. Hey guys, we are officially at the Dead Sea. It is basically just like any other beach tourist holiday resort that you can imagine there's like shops and blah 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 millions of different brands selling their own dead sea skincare products very interesting um yeah like we I don't know if you can see like in the back i feel like i'm in arizona or something in terms of like the 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 backdrop um it's beautiful very hot as you can imagine we're just approaching the beach which i'm going to show you in a sec and um, so I'm just thinking like, I would like to go into the sea, have a quick swim, because I mean, it would be rude not to, to the neck up though, there's no way I'm putting my face in that water. And um, I don't want to be in the sea too long if it's that salty, God knows what it's going to do. Um, I can't be good for your body to be in that ex like extremity for too long. And then, you know, maybe have a bit of lunch and then go back to Tel Aviv. But, Christian, on the other hand, he is the designated driver, so um, we have to go when he says we go. <laughs> so guys, we're going to do this together. The first time in the Dead Sea, and the water is flipping boiling. It's like a bath. Oh my God, and my um, cut on my... Um, on my... Uh, thing is so sore, stinging. I don't even know if this is focusing. My god, the water is just so warm. So Christian is floating in the water. How is it? Hot. Huh? It's, it's hot for a start. Yeah. So this is very risky business because I am taking my camera into the sea but i just have to show you this like this is just bonkers right like here this is like a piece of like crystal salt but what i really want to show you look at christian can you see him in the background um i have to do this because you just you just float Yeah. And the water is, look at me like how much I'm just floating. So we are back in Tel Aviv. I had to have a little sleep in the car because that, um, that Dead Sea experience really took it out of me. I was just suddenly just had to like conk out for half an hour. But I feel much better now. We just dropped off the car in the car park and for a full two to three minutes, I thought that I'd lost our wallet with money and all the credit cards in. Luckily we found it. Um, so we are, what time is it? It's about five o'clock, right? Yeah. yeah. It's about 5 p.m. So we're gonna just walk back to our hotel, which isn't too far from here. And then we are going to grab a quick coffee from the hotel lobby. And then 
go, we can go and then um, go and have a quick swim in the beach because tomorrow I don't know how much time we're going to have to do that because tomorrow we're going to Jerusalem so that's like another you know it's a uh, between one and a half hours and two hour drive I think so we're gonna do that tomorrow so yeah we're gonna go for a swim then come back to the room have a shower and go and find somewhere for dinner tonight So we decided to get some sushi for dinner tonight so we've just sat down at this place and we're sitting on the street and we just ordered a whole bunch of stuff, she said we've ordered loads but we're really really hungry after our little excursion to the Dead Sea um, and we're like literally sitting right on the street which is nice so when it comes I'll show you what we've got and I'm also just going to like show you what it looks like around here because it's really really nice. shrimp tempura this is a seaweed salad which we've already tried and it's so delicious it's not even funny so the sushi just arrived and we've got um, spider crab tempura some spicy tuna and some salad I'm um, not salad salmon salmon yeah we are up bright and early already had breakfast I had granola this morning with lots of fruit and yogurt, it was very delicious. And now we are headed to Jerusalem, so we're going to pick up the car from the car park. The weather's fabulous again, the weather here is just, well it's very hot but it's so nice. Um, it's just so nice to wake up every day and have like blue sky, I just love it. Um, and yes, we're going to pick up the car and then we are going to drive to Jerusalem. I'm wearing like a shirt and some jeans and like socks and stuff today because I heard that you s it's advised that you uh, dress modestly. Well hello, we are most definitely now in Jerusalem, it's very different from Tel Aviv, you can tell like this is like a real um, like busy bustling city, like loads going on, packed, full of people. Um, I'm not entirely sure where to go. I just like everyone's wearing like shorts and t-shirts and things like that. But I decided to keep um, the shirt on only in case we want to like visit some like historic sites or where it's like more religious or anything like that. So this is our last night and it's really sad because it's been such an amazing trip. My first time here in Tel Aviv and I've absolutely loved it. Amazing trip. So I'm not sure if I'm going to sign off here or if I'll just like say a little goodbye back in London. But if I do sign off, actually I'm going to sign off here. So thanks for watching. If you've watched it to the end, I hope that you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment. And um, I'm also going to do like a Tel Aviv um, like travel guide thing for like all the different restaurants and everything that I've seen whilst I've been here. And um, so I will leave that in the description box as soon as it is available. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.